Hi. Hi there. So tonight, uh, Devin Clark took a knee before his fight with Benefield, whose father was killed by the LAPD. And then earlier this week, we had the NFL issue a statement um, about the protest. And it kind of ties back together because that's where the kneeling started. Where, what was your feeling that watching the other leagues respond to the protests around the country and, and the world? And, and in light of some of your fighters speaking up, is the US, UFC prepared to make a statement or have you talked about it at all? seen anything that they've done. I, I haven't watched any of the other leagues. I don't, I don't look at what everybody else is doing. I, I do what we do. Um, and, you know, our, our, our guys were, uh, you know, uh, Israel Adesanya was very involved in, in, in his uh, country. Um, you know, John Jones was out there doing his thing. Other, other African-American uh, fighters for the UFC called me and asked me for advice. And I gave them the best advice that I could give them, but I would, you know, as far as, I, I don't know if you're asking me about social media and stuff like that, but I said the other day, I would never tell, like I said, everybody is dealing with all this madness that's going on in the world right now in different ways, and everybody's gonna handle it differently, and, and I would never try to tell somebody how to express themselves, whether it's fear, anger, you know, whatever it might be. And the beautiful thing about America is everybody can and however they want to. So I, I would I would, I would, never do that. No, my question wasn't if uh, you were watching what the athletes were saying. My question is, was the UFC, were you all considering making a statement as an organization? About what? Uh, about the protests or about um, the, the reason why the athletes were dealing in and other organizations? I, I don't even know yeah. how to answer that question. So it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, finally, you said no one wants to see two 50-year-olds fighting. Yeah. But I see Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield looking like they want to scrap. Who you got in that fight? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 what I would like to do is take them both out to dinner <laughs> and say, hey, let's not fight. Um, Mike Tyson I talked to, and Tyson told me, I can't explain it to you. I'm a fighter, and I always will be till the day I die and I feel it in my gut, and I want to do it. Um, and he's a grown man, and he can do whatever he wants. So I said, you know, Mike, I love you, buddy, and, and uh, yeah, I, I, I support you. I'll be, uh, good luck, and I'll watch it. And, and uh, you know, Tyson's still explosive, he's still fast. And and we all know who Evander Holyfield is. I mean, that guy is a, is a stone cold warrior to the core. So um, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna win that fight. And they're actually not 50, they're older than me. They're like seven or eight years older than me, so. Yeah, I wish them both luck.